Shut up and sit down.
little buff and there's a couple little dirt specks in it. Overall, that's great. It would be so beautiful. I just love that booth. I just love it because here we squirt the please. It just, man, it just, I can't wait. It's gonna be a sharp son of a bitch when we get it all together. It's nice, I like that black with that copper. Oh, I think it clings good. And then Brad had me do the uh, tailgate. And what we're gonna do is get stencils for the, the old Chevy insignia on it. And so the black will go against the copper. So that'll really be sharp. And then with the chrome, you know, the chrome bumpers. Give me one sharp truck, boy. I can't wait. I'm just psyched. Wally did a good job of getting all the body work around here. And he took out some dings and dents here. And he fabricated the floor. Because this was all jagged metal from when whoever did it before. So Wally had got all the seams good. So now we can put our panel, well the panel's on it, but we gotta fabricate our sides. But boy, he did a good job. And we're ready to fit our doors. I painted the jams of the doors. Now we can put the window felt on the 36 doors. We can adhere them and check for fitness. We had a little issue with the, uh, the hinges because they were so wore. So uh, our metal fabricator, Brett, came up with an idea to sleeve them and then redraw them. So now when our pins go through the uh, hinge, they'll be a nice tight fit. So we won't have that wobbleness. I guess in 1936, we weren't concerned about the up and down in the door. We just slammed it. <laughs> as long as we could put our moonshine in it and get to our destination. <laughs> so that's a good thing. So I'm excited to see how they fit, and uh, that'll be great. Uh, if you want to come with me and grab the other fender, and we'll set it on here because I'm afraid it's going to get marked, and uh, you know, with all the traffic of the employees. Chrome headlights. Oh, I'm telling you, it's gonna be badass. Them headlights gonna be sharp. Well, let's go get the other rail for the other side. And uh, so we got a frame that's complete with our chassis coatings, and then we have a base clear on our running boards and our front fenders. So we basically got over 50% of the car painted. We got our cab left, we have our box, and the rest is mechanics. So we get our doors set on. So we're right at like 45%, you know, of being complete. Once we wet sand and polish this, this will be a, a, a great finished product. Wow. What is it? The fucking thing's two tone. Did a dark came like 100 fucking 10 Oh, the color different? Yeah, it's the only thing I can think of. It came out the same gallon of paint.
we've got it all running now, all the wiring's hooked up, new wiring harness, new map sensor, new fuel uh, pump, new exhaust, new headers. Uh, it's all painted up now. Uh, the only thing left is that the final touches and then the interior and it'll be ready to go. Good ahead and give us the next longer or two sizes up on that belt. What you doing, Molly? They got Molly trying to make a fan belt fit. It's looking mighty pretty. I'm gonna put a serpentine belt in where it wasn't meant to go. If you got it, that's like a gate spell. They'll probably use to do a couple numbers, whatever, and give us a little bit more. Mm -hmm. I'm still get my one dash with that so you can get the real fine piece. I can sit there and load it over. That tool works on a regular car. Dude. Apparently, we don't have a regular car.
He's gonna like this. It sounded beastly. Oh, I was like, holy God, yeah. smokes. Yeah, that motor didn't turn on that well when it was in the Camaro. <laughs> no, you don't have near the weight, like you said. That yeah, it's so, pretty good. That thing's gonna be able to shit with the rounds and stuff. Get that on a, you know, like a slick dirt road. Yeah. Oh, man. The shit just right out here on the pavement. I nailed it. That's on the fifth Smoke the tires as long as you want to smoke them. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds good. Okay, we got the lights. Wow. You got the brakes, the pedal feels good. Yeah, yeah, the brakes are right there. Yeah, it sounds good. The only problem though is you got to pick up your feet so far. Is this? Oh, it gets a little bit off. Is it? The Cummins diesel. Stop leaking around that thing. I figured it may have stopped leaking after it heated up and drove it. That's yeah, still a little damp around there. Yeah, it's down too. It's down too. 